Hi, my name is Sonia and I'm here to walk you through the Click Help Wismic Editor and help you get acquainted with its basic features. You'll get the general idea of the Click Help Wismic Editor and learn how to create different kinds of links and so-called anchor links. First, let's simply look around. At the top you can see the Editor's ribbon bar with tabs. This is where we can find all the awesome features the Click Help Wismic Editor has to offer. At the Home tab, one can find the Microsoft Office-like format and possibilities. You can change your phone, phone size, phone color, etc. The Insert tab allows certain elements like images, videos, links, tables, and a variety of ready elements. And here comes the Single Sourcing tab, where you can manage your variables, snippets, and conditional content with the help of output tags. The next one is the View tab. It switches the full screen mode on, plus it allows you seeing how the output will look with the output tag you've chosen. And here's the table tab. Here you can insert a table and then edit it. The last one is the review tab. On this tab, you can add a review note for your topic, change the topic status and check the spelling. This is one of the key features for almost any online documentation – links. To insert a link, first, pick the place where you would like the reference to be placed in a topic. Then, go to the Insert tab on the Editor's ribbon bar and click the link item. Here you can see four radio buttons to choose from. If you want to create a link to a topic inside your portal, stick to the first radio button. Start typing the topic's URL or its name and choose the right one from the list. Type the text to be displayed in the topic and a tooltip if you want to. Tooltip is something that will be displayed when you're hovering your mouse over the link. Also, you can make the link open in a new window. Click OK. Here's the link. Let's check how it works. Unlock and view. Great, we've just created a link. You can also create a link to a file in the Click Help file storage. Let's create one to the image I have already uploaded. Instead of typing the text to be displayed, you can simply select the needed part of the sentence that will be transformed into a link. Let's go to the Insert tab and click the link item. Now we need to choose the file. The text is already here, tooltip will be the same. Now we need to find a way to the file. Click Browse. This is our file. OK. OK again. And this is the link. If you click the Unlock and View button and click this link, the file will start downloading. In this part of the video, I will teach you how to create anchor links or links to certain parts of your topic. Let's take a look. For example, we would like a user to be able to reach to this paragraph real quick from this topic or to get to the paragraph immediately from some other topic. So we're going to place an anchor here. For this, go to the Insert tab and click the anchor item. Give your anchor a name and click OK. So, this is our anchor. Now we need to choose the right place for the link to be displayed. Click link and find the anchor name on the list. Here, type the text and the tooltip, click OK. So, this is our anchor link. Let's see how it works. Unlock and view. Click it. And here we are.